Hey everybody, Chuck Holton here coming to you from Jerusalem with a two minute update with all you need to know about what's happened in Israel over the last 24 hours. Now the news is being dominated today by the uh, recovery of six hostages who were found dead in a tunnel in Rafa, only about one kilometer from where that other hostage that was rescued last week, the Bedouin man, uh, these six unfortunately were not found alive and they, it turns out they were murdered just moments before the IDF managed to get into that tunnel by their guards. Uh, the IDF even heard the shots as they were moving up to that tunnel and th that, that ended up killing them. One of those hostages was an American Israeli that is arguably one of the best known hostages of all of the 240 something that were taken back in October 7th. And his name was Hirsch Goldberg Paulin. And Hirsch was a, a 23 year old American who was taken from the Nova Music Festival back on October 7th. He lost an arm in that process trying to save some of his friends from a grenade that was thrown at them. And uh, he had actually been known to be alive because he's one of the few hostages that Hamas actually made a uh, proof of life video about and put out back in April. So uh, it's really unfortunate. Everybody is grieving over this absolutely brutal killing. All of those hostages were shot in the head shortly before they were uh, about to be rescued. Now, something else that's happening in the news that you're not hearing a lot about uh, today uh, is three Israeli policemen were killed in the southern part of Hebron in the West Bank. Uh, th they were killed by a lone gunman, a uh, Palestinian guy who drove up and shot all three policemen and then ran off. The IDF mounted a massive manhunt for him, ended up finding him holed up in a building, and they s basically smoked the whole building and killed that guy. Once they identified his body, uh, he was armed and everything. Uh, when they identified him, it turns out he was a member of the presidential uh, guard of the Palestinian Authority. That means he was one of Mahmoud Abbas's personal bodyguards. And here's the kicker. Those bodyguards are trained by the United States uh, with U.S. equipment, U.S. funding. Uh, ever since 2005 and the first George Bush, uh, I'm sorry, George W. Bush, uh, um, his, his first term, uh, the United States has been paying and helping to train the presidential bodyguards for Mahmoud Abbas. And now one of them just ended up murdering three Israelis. Uh, up in the north, real quick, uh, there have been an average over the last month, in the month of August, they had an average of nine attacks a day from Hezbollah coming across into Israel. And that's actually lower than previous months, even with the massive attack with more than 200 or 300 uh, rockets and drones that were fired on that one day toward the end of the month. But uh, we'll see what happens. There's been already three attacks from the north today, and we'll see what happens in September. So there's your update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to the podcast, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.